I always cry at weddings, but today my tears were filled with anger and sadness as I stood there and I saw Stella and her kids standing alone. I am angry and I am sad that Stella will not have her man with her to live her life with. I am angry and I am sad that her kids will not have their parent, their dad with them. I am angry and I am sad that Julian is not free to live his life in peace. Last night my 11 year old boy asked me what I was doing today and what the whole Assange thing was about. I did my best to explain it to him. I said the man that exposed the crime is the one doing the time. Yes. Yes. The man that did good has been punished and those that did bad are getting away with it and in power. He looked at me with tears in his eyes. He said, I do not understand that. And I looked back at him with tears in my eyes and I said, I do not understand either. But what I do understand is that not only did Julian expose the war crimes of the US, he has also exposed the lie and the sham which is liberal Western democracy. We have no free press. We have no functioning democracy, judiciary. Our politics is corrupt. The US empire is calling the shots and is in charge. But today, I take courage from the courage that Stella and Julian have showed. I need to. It's a beautiful spring day and they have chosen love and life instead of darkness and despair. I'm reminded of what the great Chilean poet once said. They can cut the flowers but they cannot stop spring from coming. Now my head tells me that's bullshit but my heart needs to believe it's true. But either way, as the great Chris Hedges once said, the man that stood here just a minute ago, we do not fight fascism because we might win. We fight fascists because they're fascists. Free Julian Assange.